do another insulation video and this is going to be the wild african deep wave wig i really love the cows on the wig sheila obviously came and slayed this 360 frontal thanks <laughs> thank you in this video we talked about like the struggles of being self-employed and how to gain motivation again when sometimes you have really big highs when you're self-employed and sometimes you just have really big lows and what keeps you going and like we just had a conversation a little bit of a girly chat as she installed the hair so make sure you stay tuned for that also all the links of the hair and where I got it from obviously it's from Wild African will be linked in my description bar below so please check out Wild Africa to purchase if this wig if you want it I think it's really really nice and I hope you have a lovely evening day morning night whenever you're watching this and I'll see you in my next video bye let's introduce the video we're in mid filming hi again we're doing another installation video hi. Sheila is here struggles with being self employed ay 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 self-employed because I'm a youtuber and obviously Sheila is self-employed because what do you do I'm a hairstylist she's a hairstylist um, and I think I went to an event called Trust Trust Free Life. There was a lot of young entrepreneurs there. I think we had a Q and A session, and one of the girls who actually owns a company, she was like, "What do you do in this time where you know sometimes you have a really great month, and you have loads of clients, and you feel like in a happy mood, and you feel super successful, and you're like, yeah, this is what I want to do, and you have so much drive, and then sometimes you just literally feel like." I don't want to do this, I don't want to get out of bed, everyone's annoying me, I need to ignore my phone, I want to switch it off, why did I even start this, can't I get a normal job, like, you have those highs and lows when you're self-employed, so I just wanted to talk to Sheila, like, how do you deal with those days, how often do those days come? For me personally, I always say because I'm a Gemini, right? Mm. I have super, super highs. I'm like, yes, I'm going to do everything, I'm going to film every single day, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, da -da -da -da. and I'm... I like try to be realistic with things like I really do try and be like okay I can do this in this day and I'm gonna edit in this day and I'm gonna upload three times a day and I'm gonna do this and be super productive and then the next day I wake up and I'm like I hate the world go away everyone why are people commenting why are people doing this I don't want to do this anymore and it's just like it's hard getting back to the good space do you ever experience that every day every day every day yeah how she's crying <laughs> <laughs> 60 francs or what how do you deal with like um bad days because some days we just don't feel like doing our job but yeah. you know what i feel like when you're self-employed yeah you have to do it or else you're not going to get paid i always yeah. give the example of like when you have like a normal regular nine to five you can go in, in on a day and not really want to do like not give put it into yeah. give it your all yeah. but when you're self-employed you have You've to do it to because it's your time. brand yeah. and stuff so you know, how often do those days come when it's like, I can't want to do it, and how do you get out of it? How do you get out of that rut? It happens on a regular, but I think I get out of it by thinking, oh, you know what, I need to reach the end goal. Mm. So, Do you set goals, like daily, monthly, or how do you know what is your goal? Like, is it a big goal? Is it a small goal? Is it a daily goal? It's a daily goal, but it varies. It can be a big goal, it can be a small one, whether it means... I need to reply to emails on time, something like that. Yeah, I'm such an obsessive when it comes to lists, you yeah, know me. I know. So <laughs> I would literally, I write a list every single day and I write the list of what I'm doing today, what I'm doing tomorrow, what I'm doing in the week, what I'm doing in the month and what I'm doing in the year. And even if I write the list of what I'm doing in the year, I'll write what I'm doing in the year every single week. So don't I remind myself why I'm doing these daily goals on to, to get to those yearly goals if that makes sense and i think it's great to write down like physically write down and remind yourself this is what i want and this is why i'm doing what i'm doing yeah what keeps you like driven like what keeps you going is there like this one specific thing you're just like when you think about it it's just like yeah this is why i'm doing it the end goal yeah what i, what I hope to achieve one day Start their own business and become an entrepreneur like you. 
Your number one advice. My number one advice. Just go for it. Yeah. It's all about taking risks, really. Mm-hmm. Like, what's the harm?